After a serious crash just over two years ago involving a food truck sent nine people to the hospital, Austin City staff stepped up to try to make things safer. And last year, Austin's Transportation and Public Works Department installed a pilot safety project on Barton Springs Road. And according to new data, the project is working. Sam Stark explains the impact on drivers, possibly protecting lives as well. The road connects people to some of Austin's most famous destinations and is rife with pedestrians, bikes, and cars at most hours of the day. But it's not just popular. Historically, it's been unsafe, too. We started to look at the crash history around there. We started to notice a pattern that there were frequent crashes down there, and a lot of it had to do with high speeds and high-risk behaviors. In August 2023, from AZ Martin Road to South Lamar Boulevard, staff physically separated bike lanes, reduced the number of lanes from two to one, and made safer crosswalks. In just six months, the number of people driving 10 miles per hour over the speed limit dropped by 65%. Staff said that's nearly 500 fewer drivers a day driving 10 miles above the speed limit. It's, it's really exciting when we get to do a project and we anticipate things playing out a certain way, and they, and they mainly do. In a six-month period, the public Works Department says there would typically be around six crashes. Since they made the changes, there were only two. But some also noticed some other changes. It seems like traffic has increased or it's slower sometimes when I'm coming off Mopac. The city said travel times along the road have roughly remained the same, but lines at stoplights are a little longer. But if you ride a scooter or bike along the road from time to time, the added safety could be a benefit. It feels amazing riding in the protected bike lane on the scooter. I don't know that I would have ridden the scooter down on, on the road before that bike lane was here. Sam Stark, KXAN News. And the city tells us they conducted a survey to see how people feel about the changes. 1,600 people responded, with the majority saying they either strongly supported or somewhat support the changes to Barton Springs Road.